It's back. Ultimate Masters. We're doing it again. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We're here with a box of the good stuff, the ultimate stuff, the stuff that's sure to give us stuff. Boy, do I hope it's good, because, you know, there's a lot of volatility now with, uh, with these things. Ultimate box topper, we'll put it right in the dinosaur's mouth, it's gonna wait. We're gonna open a box of Ultimate Masters, see if uh, we can pull some magical things. I couldn't sit on it any longer. I had a deep desire to open it, and that's what I'm gonna do. But, if you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's a few of them, please. The first one, it's easy, it's free. Carn be praised. Become a subscriber and hit that thumbs up button. Saying you like us gets us out in the world and helps everybody else to find out about us because, you know, we're certain they're going to like us too. The other way is to become a patron so we can crack packs for you, talk on our Discord, and most importantly, give you access to a list of cards that we're selling at least 20% below the average market price on TCG players. So, hey... Check that out. It's there for the patrons. And the last way is to head out to noblenight.com. Supporting them supports us. Without further ado, let's go through 24 packs of Ultimate Masters and then a box topper. I am, I'm nervous. Zombie. Our first foil is the Thermo Alchemist. And our first rare is the best one in the set. Lava Claw Reaches. That's a horse. You didn't even know that because you've never given this card attention. That sucks. Hey, Lava Spike. We're going to try, try. Well, leave some room on the sandy shore there for the Mythics. But a lot of good on commons. Going to try to pull those aside. And while I go through the commons, I am looking for Kodama's Reach. Because super playable for Commander. Um, I believe it still sits at about a buck each, too. So watching out for that. Zombie. Tethmos, High Priest. And we've got a Seismic Assault. We're on fire right now. Two for two for great rares. But hey, we are getting good on commons. Love that Lava Spike. That three damage shot right to the skull. Right to the head. And we got a Grave Troll. Or Golgari Thug Grave Troll. What am I saying? All right. Come on. We got the bad cards out of the way. They're done. We're on to the good stuff. I would love to see that Dark Depths behind a Merit Lodge. Nope, not yet. Resurrection Foil, it's a beautiful foil. And Ancient Tomb, nice, there you go. One of the big rares in the set. I think we're on 20, 24 bucks, right? Something like that. Real, real good, Sleight of Hand, good Uncommon. Don't forget the value in the Uncommon slot. Even Pyromancer's pretty good. Chainer's Edict, another good Uncommon. This pack was insane. Real good pack. Like that one. That's that's the redemption pack. Now we're on the train. We're on the train of glory. Oh, and look at this. Three of them. Help us, Lily. Help us, Liliana. Help us. Ooze. Faithless Looney foil. Nice. That is a good foil. It's probably a few bucks. And Creeping Tar Pit. Another one of the better, the better man lands. Not bad. And nothing. All right, the first of the three lilies in a row. What's it gonna be? Man, be a Liliana. A foil lily? Nope. Golgari brown scale. Good for those dredge decks. And the Thespian Stage. Copying that Dark Depths and using it early. All right. The next Lily Pack. Come on, help us with a big hit. Let's get a monster hit. Spider. You gotta think twice, foil. And all is dust. Nice. Solid rare. Real good. Eventually it'll find its way back home to a higher price too. You're good on commons there too. Not bad. All right. The last of the three lilies in a row. Come on. 
Love to see Lee. You know, honestly, though, I do need some Snapcasters, too. I wouldn't mind that. Ooh, Foil Circular Logic. One of my favorites from the day. Loved playing Madness. And Through the Breach. Another really good rare with the new artwork. And I think I am a bigger fan of watching him rock who will bust through the breach. It's pretty cool. Songs of the Damned. What else we got here? All right. No mythics yet. We still got plenty of time for mythics. And a lot of anxiety building for what that box topper is going to have. Heliod's Pilgrim. Those eyes light up. And Gamble. Another solid card. Real good for Commander. A one mana tutor. Not bad. The beautiful artwork of Seb McKinnon. Vengeful Rebirth. It is just always so much fun to open up the Masters. The boy is a lot of anxiety because you just don't want to lose the value on it. Hero of Iroas. It's a cool looking card. Recently really been getting back into the, the Theros block. I'm telling you guys, the Theros block is going to steadily climb in value. It's just real good. Hey, Celestial Colony, the best of the man lands. Really good card. Ooh, Kodama's Reach. That's one we're looking for. And we're probably about halfway through the box right now. Need to see a little bit more love. Crushing Canopy. And Mana Vault. Oh, mommy, nice. Yeah, Our first yeah, mythic. And it's not just an expensive one, but it is a useful one. Mana Vault and Eternal Witness. This is a great pack. Man, when the packs are good, they just seem like they're real good. Oh, 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 okay. All right, first mythic down, Mana Vault. Thank God, it was a good one. Kind of that high-end mid-range. Mahamoti Jin. So cool foiling. And nice, Mahamoti Demonic Mahamoti Tutor. Yeah, there we go. Spicy, so many $20 plus rares in this set. Just so good. Desperate Ritual, Laboratory Maniac, both good on commons. I think they both hold a dollar plus in value, so. Oh, I did it again, you guys. I think we're cracking the box code. Three lilies in a row. Come on, let's see her. Foil Liliana. I've opened the box topper, would love to get a foil one. Nope, we got the Hooli Mandrills. And squee, goblin. Nobody cares about you. And there we go. The only downside is you get through the box too fast and you just don't want it to end. Why couldn't this have been 36 packs of awesomeness? Fiery Temper, another good madness card with some cool foiling. And Vengevine is our next mythic. This is definitely one of the lower end ones. A little underwhelming. I do love the card though. All right, we're gonna have to hope for a high end mythic to make up for Vengevine being one of the lower end ones. I wanna say that that guy's sitting around 10 bucks or so maybe. And you know, packs are at about $15 a piece. You can't really afford a low end mythic. Basking Root Walla, the madness continues. And in tomb, solid and beautiful. That Seb McKinnon artwork. Nice little card. Ooh, buried alive. Love to see Karn too. Really though, we want to see that foil mythic. Foil mythic something. Ooh, foil Gorio's Vengeance. I'll take that, especially with the new artwork. I'd argue that I like this more than the box topper one. I actually kind of like seeing that border light up for Gorio's Vengeance. And Gothic Teague. Back-to-back -back good rares. That was a nice pack. Man, I'm telling you, when the packs are good, they're on fire. But when they're not, it's real bad. There's not like, not really get in the middle of something. It's just tragedy or it's riches. Gorio's Vengeance of the full rare. Not, not sad about that. Citizen, the Stitcher's Apprentice. 
And the Fauna Shaman. Another useful one if you're playing Commander and Creatures is a thing, Fauna Shaman needs to be in that deck. It's just real cheeky. Okay. We're getting down there. I feel like I see five or so packs left, maybe. Spirit. Oh, the Mad Prophet. I feel like I get this foiled so often. And Micaeus the Unhallowed for our third mythic. Probably our last one. It's, it's a mid-range one. I think he's 18, 20 bucks. He's a deadly good commander. Um, if you're playing, I mean, he, goes, he can go infinite real quick. And it's usually too late for anybody to act. So I'm a fan of Micaeus. But that probably took away our chances to see Lily, Snapcaster, Karn, any of the people we really wanted to see. Stinger Fling Spider. And Lenalendra, Archmage. Nice little persist guy. All right. Oh, look at that, there's still another layer. Well, we've got a couple more packs than I thought, so that's good. Let's find a little bit more value here. Molten Rebirth Foil, there's a fun one. You guys play Zinder Split No Cotton. That goes there. And Fulminator Mage. Nice little rare. Would really love Jun to be great again when it comes to uh, modern. I feel like it's kind of been on the back burner for a while. It deserves its place in the sun again. So good. Uh, Faith's Fetters with that demon on lockdown. And Red Dawnbringer. Fun card. Not worth a lot. Oh, the Slippery Bogle. Big old fish in his mouth. Ooh, I'm getting the anxiety. The box topper anxiety, it's here. Ooh, another foil rare. Glenelendra Archmage foil. That's two good foil rares. Well, that helps out. Man, that one looks great too. Just evil looking. And Dig Through Time, one of my favorites. I know this is only worth a buck or two, but it's really good. <laughs> it's like, it's way undervalued. All right, that's, this is it. The last three packs, we got one of each artwork. Lily will save you for the end. Venge Vine will open you because we know we're not gonna open another one of you. Homunculus, Sigil of the New Dawn. Foil and Revel Art. Kitchen Things, there we go, nice uncommon. Can we get lucky? One more mythic? Maybe. Maybe we can. I hope so. Elemental Token. The Ghoul Caller's Apprentice. This is another one, I swear. I see a lot of foil goo colors print this in. Sovereigns of Lost Financials. Okay, Oof. okay. Last pack, and then I will open the box topper for you all. And we will see our fate, our fate of the box. Spark Elemental, <gasps> Slum Reaper foil. This is actually a pretty good one. Nice little card too. And we got the Ruined Halo, a solid rare. One that will likely rebound back to a little bit higher price sooner than later. Oh, another Kodama's Reach. At least we got a couple of those. All right, it's box topper time. Can you, can you see inside it? Can you, can you see it? Everybody always says they can uh, make it out, but... You know, I've never been able to see through this thing, so let's use the pull tab. Hope not to damage the card. There it is. Doesn't look like we got damage, at least not yet. Oh, spicy ah, meatball. Ah, all right, it is beautiful, but not a great one. We're definitely on the lower end with the Raging Ravine. 
Still looks cool. I think we got every man land in this box. Well, thank you so much for tuning into my pain. That's another box. It actually wasn't that bad. That was a pretty solid box of Ultimate Masters. We did get some of the better rares, too. I, I should be a little bit more grateful. Two foil rares. You know, one of them being Gorios. We got Demonic Tutor. We got Celestial Kane. Through the Breach. Ancient Tomb. We did pretty good. That was actually a nice box. Thank you so much for tuning in to Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your week.